Hey guys, it's Jason 28W. Um, just making you guys a quick update video. Uh, sorry I haven't had a video up in a while. Uh, just been really busy. And on top of that, I got sick a little bit and was trying to get better and all that before I made another video. I'm still getting the sweats and my ears still hurt a little bit. So, But I got antibiotics and all that for it. So... Anyways, um, as you guys can see, I got a bunch of parts in front of me. Well, this is another reason why I haven't made an update video or made a video in a while is because I was waiting for these parts to come in. Uh, can you guess what these parts are for? Yep, you guessed it. The Emacs. The Emacs is finally going to get put back together. Um... What I had to, what I had ordered was uh, I needed a differential ring gear, uh, part number forty nine eighty one, and then I needed bearings. I, I put, I'm putting all new bearings in the rear. Uh, the first set of bearings are six by eleven by four forty six eleven part. That's the part number. Uh, six by twelve by four forty six fourteen. And then uh, 10 by 16 by 4, 40, 46, 12. And I'm also going to be putting in a new input shaft in the tranny. That's part number 3993. And then the grease, part number 1647. And then I'm also going to be putting in uh, diff, new diff gears. That's part number 4982. And then I'm all, I also got some new... Uh, three millimeter nylon locking nuts that's part number 2745 uh, I gave you guys all the part numbers because I had somebody ask me a while back if uh, when I do videos like this if they'd give the part numbers I'm sorry once again I don't remember who you were because it was quite a long time ago but you know who you are um, they got an Emacs too, the same year as mine or whatever, and uh, they wanted me to do that, so I figured, okay, well, you know, I'll give it a shot. So, hopefully that helps for you. Um, other than that, uh, that's all I really have going on at this point. Well, and then, uh, might as well add, this is my first order that I've ever made with uh, GameAinHobbies.com. And, uh, I got one of their little stickers for, I think it was like 60 or 65 cents, so I can put it, put it on the bodies of the cars. But, uh, I have to say, you know, A-Main Hobbies, if anybody has, if anybody is thinking about ordering from there, it, it's an easy to, easy to navigate website, you know, I mean, it, uh, and everything like that, but I will tell you guys right now that if you use that live chat thing, um, be prepared to have some spare time because uh, they take their dear sweet time on getting to you, and then uh, when when you're talking to them, they uh, they take a little bit to respond back. So just be pre be prepared for that. Another thing that I didn't like was that is it was 626 for a two-day priority mail shipping. Yes, it says that it's not guaranteed, but I had to wait four days for my stuff to come in. Uh, I wasn't really all that happy about that. But uh, anyways, the stuff came. There's nothing wrong with anything. Uh, I will make an update video once the only oh actually I'm getting ahead of myself the only thing that I still need for the Emacs is a power trans cap and since nobody respond to me well actually I take that back I think one person responded to me on the the trans cap and I appreciate that but no one is willing to donate one so I gotta wait until I save up the money to get one and it's going to cost me like 18 some dollars, that's with shipping, and that's directly from Novak. 
So if anybody knows where I can get one cheaper, I want it to be exactly the same thing that was on the speed control. And that's, uh, well, I don't have the piece of paper in here, but it's, it's a power, tran power trans cap module for the Novak HB Pro brushless 5.5 setup. Uh, I know you can get a direct replacement that's just the power, the, the trans cap itself. This is just one that I have laying around. You can get this right here, and that's just the cap. This isn't the right one, but I'm using this as an example. Um, but I don't want that. I want the one that has the little uh, resistors and everything and all whatever else on there. It's a little circuit board. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go here before the video gets too long. Uh, this is just a quick little update for you guys. Um, I'll update you guys on uh, the truck once I uh, get it all back together. And well, I'll make an update video of it together and ready to go except for the power trans cap. So, until then, catch you guys later. Peace.